I spent a good part of my corporate career working in procurement. At the beginning of my career, in the function, we had two core KPIs, cost savings and cost avoidance. As I was negotiating, guess on what I was focusing. My name is Giuseppe Conti, I'm a business school professor and the founder of Conti Advanced Business Learning, a company that specializes in negotiation and inclusion. So, as you probably guessed, with those kind of KPIs, in my negotiation, I was focusing on cost. So the kind of price I was paying for goods and services. Now, of course, you know, the procurement function has evolved and there are a number of other factors that drive decisions, such as sustainability, risk management, or the innovation capability of the supplier. But all those elements relate to objective value, to the economic outcome of the negotiation. In this video, I want to focus instead on subjective value, how the people feel at the end of the negotiation. So it's not enough to only care about the economic outcome, we also have to think about the feelings of the people involved in the negotiation. Two American professors who run from MIT and Elfenbein from Olin have done some interesting research that classifies subjective value into four areas feelings about the outcome, feeling about self, feeling about the process, and feeling about the relationship. Let me quickly take you through those four elements. Feeling about the outcome. Am I satisfied with the agreement that we reached? Will I be able to sell it in turn? Feelings about self. Do I feel good about myself with my self-image? Did I lose face? Did I feel competent when I was doing the negotiation? Third element, feelings about the process. Did it take a long time or a short time to reach an agreement? Did I feel listened to? Was the process fair? Was I treated with respect? Fourth dimension, the relationship. Did I build a good relationship with my counterpart? Has the trust between the two of us increased or decreased? The key message is, a strong negotiator should be able to deliver strong subjective value to their counterpart, in particular for one reason. The research indicates that subjective value is more important than economic value in determining the willingness of a person to want to be doing future relationship with their counterpart. For more insight on negotiation and influencing, check our website www.cibl.com dot ch thank you